Yes people, so in today's video you're going to see my upper body training session that was filmed on the 24th of April so that was yesterday which was the 12th day of Ramadan this is going to be my upper body hypertrophy session and I'm going to give a detailed in-depth review of all the exercises I've done and why I've done it so without further ado make sure you like, subscribe and comment and do all of that jazz and let's get into the video Okay, so let's get straight into this. So, the first exercise I did when I went to the gym is machine lateral raises. The reason I am doing this before my main compound movement is first of all, I like to get a bit of more volume and frequency in my delts because obviously a smaller muscle part for me it can handle more frequency and for everyone basically can the smaller muscle group. So that's why I'm doing that first and also I'm doing it before my main compound movement for my chest just to warm up the shoulder area just make sure enough blood's flowing etc so I did three sets of 15 the last set doing 12 reps because I'm really focusing on the contraction and the holding and making sure that the tempo is the same and that I'm not cheating it so whenever I feel like I'm going to like just like start using momentum then I just quit it so yeah it's, it's probably a technical failure that I'm aiming for on this set on this exercise and yeah so that's the main reason I'm doing it first A to get blood around my shoulder area before I hit my heavy chest presses and B just to hit the smaller muscle group before everything else because I feel like it won't affect my main lift that much if I did it at the end of the session instead okay so the second exercise I went to which was also my main compound movement of the day is a dumbbell bench press now today I want to see how high I could go so obviously I'm still on deficit, I'm weighing around 75.4 kg still. I've never maxed out on 34 kg dumbbells so this was the first and obviously I was cycling myself up the whole day was just for this and obviously I got them at the end, I, I did 34 kg, the pair so that obviously that's 68 kg, I did that for 3 sets of 10, then after that I dropped the weight to 30, uh, 32 kg, did that for only 9 reps, then did it. 30 kg for 9 reps as well so next week I need to at least get 10 reps on everything or oh, I could hit the 36 kg dumbbells but I don't, I don't think I realistically get that for 10 I'd probably get that for 8 and also I'm cutting and my strength will probably decrease especially the pushing movements so yes <laughs> After this I did the plate loaded chest press and this machine is very hard at the top so this this machine will tax out my triceps before my chest that's the, probably the, the resistant curve of the machine so it's kind of messed but it'll probably work in my favour as obviously in a dumbbell chest press I'm focusing on my chest more because at the bottom and then the plate loaded press I'm sticking my sticking point in my triceps is the weakest part so I'm hitting both areas so I'm only using what one plate per side plus a small 1.25 kg and obviously that's just an improvement from last week to make sure I'm improving. Also the reason I'm doing all my pushing movements before my pulling movements is because if I did my pulling movements for first it's basically a stability standpoint. If I did all my pulling movement first then we're onto pushing. Obviously when you're doing a pushing exercise your back muscle musculature so like you're pulling, pulling movements obviously that's supporting you when you push and everything so if I did pulling movements first I reckon that's from a stability point I won't have that much stability and base support after when doing my push so that's why I always do my push movements first if I'm doing an upper body session okay so the next exercise was a plate loaded machine row I did a pronated version as during the other days of the week I like to use different grips just to increase variation of different parts of the muscle being hit so I'm hitting everything and obviously I'm doing pronation and I'm kind of I put the seat a bit lower so my chest is higher on the on the chest support so that I can target my upper back a bit more because obviously during the other days I don't really I, I got like mostly lat etc but as you can see I'm fully stretching at the length and range and when I'm shortening I'm kind of leaning back and pulling just to get extra squeezing at the back and yeah just my upper back mostly for this type of exercise I'm focusing on hitting that so that's why it's a killer and I'm using wrist wraps obviously 
just to make sure my grip isn't a limiting factor. And yeah, that's the main movement. Obviously, back is a very important muscle. I always say like back is probably one of the most important muscles for me, even just for anyone, because it helps with posture and it also just helps all the other lifts. So yeah, that was the exercise. On to the next exercise, following with the same theme of hit in the back, I did the close grip lat pull down. So obviously, the previous exercise, I was doing a wide grip pronated. Now I'm doing a close grip neutral handed pull down. That's to hit the lats more. So this kind of complements on my pull day when I'm doing weighted neutral chin ups. It's just a complement exercise because that's like for 5 reps and this day I'm doing for 10 reps. So I'm just getting all the different rep variations. And I love this lat pull variation because I can fully squeeze the lats and I stretch at the top and I squeeze at the bottom. And honestly this is a nice exercise. <laughs> Now on to the accessory movements, so dumb Adam obviously didn't put the camera right because this tripod's kind of failing now so I might have to get a new one or I'll just have to use my big one in the gym which is going to be hella awkward but you know we got to do what we got to do for the content but anyways I'm doing tricep v-bar cable overhead extensions a tongue twister I must say but this is just to target the long head of the tricep so the biggest part that makes up your triceps around two thirds approximately and yeah, this is just for accessory movement. Obviously, I don't like to run a minimalized program. I like to include, make sure I'm hitting everything so there are no weak links. So that is why I'm doing some volume work and accessory work for the triceps. And in general, the arms are up my frequency from three times per week to three times per week. So yeah, I'm doing this cutting phase as well. And after this, I did my second accessory movement, which was the incline dumbbell curls. And this clip, there's very nothing to show because the battery dies after. I need to buy new batteries because honestly, this battery thing, this thing right here, it, it's not working. It just keeps dying. So I need to get probably new batteries. And that's that. So I did dumbbell incline curl. Obviously, as I said in one of my previous videos, I am pretty sure I like to include some type of curl variation where the arm is in front of my body. So aka a preacher curl or a cable curl or a machine preacher curl. And I like to include... Uh, arm exercise behind my body so this is the incline curl just to target different heads of the of the bicep obviously you can't really isolate single heads the whole bicep will get work but you can kind of favor different variations and also variations are good as well and also i like to include like a hammer curl in some of the weeks just to target the brachialis and the brachialis and just to thicken the bicep and just for my grip strength in general because i feel like that helps my deadlift a lot but enough of a tangent um then after this, obviously my battery died, but I recorded me doing reverse peg decks. Well, I didn't record it, but I couldn't. But that's extra volume for the uh, shoulder area, so just the reverse peg decks, just the rear delts, most neglect neglected body part. And yeah, that was my training session done. So yeah, it was just, that's what I do basically, obviously. Normally, in a bulking phase, I like to improve. I like to, every week, I like to up the like sets reps i like to basically increase how much load i can until i reach my like mrv and then i drop it down but obviously in a cutting phase i'm just keeping the same i'm just increasing the load because i was just to ensure that i'm still progressing and yeah and not fatiguing myself because obviously i don't want to get fatigued and then i'll just become but anyways that was a video yeah, obviously, uh, the reason I show this is if you want to kind of use some of my ideas and logic. Obviously, it's not my ideas. I haven't come up with these ideas. I've looked at people and how they train. And it kind of makes sense from like a scientific standpoint. And like, yeah, just, just in general. So if you want to like kind of, you can try this workout as well. But obviously, it's up to you in the end. But yeah, this is a killer. It's upper body focused. I like, I like to include different variations. Obviously, I think there was a study. I'm not sure. I don't want to say it. But like... That's why I'm doing a chest press now as well, like a C chest press, because different planes of movement like can increase like hypertrophy. I think something like that, because like you're increasing variation. So like if I'm laying on the floor, that's going up. If I'm laying on the, if I'm sitting, seating like this that way, cable down that way, just like hitting different planes, etc. I might not be, I might be trying shit. I probably I'm saying study, but I'm just wording it really crap. But hey, we got to improve on that. Anyways, I love waffling. Thank you for watching. Remember like, subscribe, comment. And I'll see you on the next training episode, which will probably be on a Monday. And that's going to be my SBD day. But I don't know. And yeah. Peace.